when pressing open the sleeve seam, we always have the under sleeve on the bottom. On the top sleeve, on the top, we press this way. Open up our seam, nice and water. The first seam sewn on the sleeve is the forearm seam. Whenever we press the seam open, we want to shrink away the fullness in what will become the bend of the elbow on the top sleeve. When the coat's finished and the wearer puts his arm inside the sleeve, there's a tendency for a breakage to happen at the crook of the elbow. By shrinking it here, we we'll minimize that effect. Once the forearm seam is pressed open, we fold it over our top sleeve onto our under sleeve and baste the hind arm seam from the cuff through to the sleeve cap. And if we baste this, we baste it twice. So we baste it first on top and then we slip it up onto our sleeve board and then baste again between our stitches. Base back to cuff. Folding on the thread marks of the top sleeve. The cuff is folded back. A stitch is placed two inches back from the edge of the cuff, securing the cuff in position. We then mark our under sleeve through our inlay, it is then folded back and start top stitch. It's important not to overpress the cuff. This is something that maybe get adjusted during the fitting stages. And the last thing we wish to do is create a permanent crease here that cannot be altered once the fitting is finished. You notice I'm not using the metal iron, the dry iron to, or even the cold iron <laughs> to, uh, to dry this off because I'm not trying to set the crease in the edge. I only use the metal dry iron. Um, I want to set a crease. you got to be careful not to set creases too, uh, too hard in the base. You want the edge to be folded over but, and you want a, a line to follow. But you don't want to press it in so hard as so you can't get the crease out when you finish the garment. When you're pressing with such heavy irons that are so hot, it's quite easily done. Shouldn't be a problem really with this wool, but if you would have had a mohair or a tonic or cotton or even a velvet, we can get out. Quarter oil gave it the same problem. Cloth like that, you're better off just turning the edge and basting it, and basting it close to the edge, <laughs> basting it tight together, never actually creasing the edge itself. Those are done. Just hang them up.